Well, that was fucking annoying. Sorry. Today's just fucking stupid. Now my fucking head hurts. Maybe that was a bug you were talking about. Yeah. I heard 5 didn't run very smooth. People were having issues with it. I mean, that happens all the fucking time. Oh, right? I, oh yeah. All their fucking games do this shit. Vicky! Especially, like, There's the nothing you can do, Batman. Are yeah. You underestimate the true children of Arkham. The Walking Dead. Fucking Fable. Yeah, Open the doors. That shit did that to me a lot. I was so fucking mad. Arkham, in the middle of the fucking Listen fight. to me. Freedom is yours. The only one standing your way is Batman. Batman. He stuck me in here. Me too. Let me out. He's the crazy one. And I can't fucking do it. Security systems offline. Every inmate's loose. The leader of the children of Arkham. Did you see her? They went. Oh,
Давай! Fuck, I keep pressing the wrong buttons. I can't even think now. Truly inspiring. Such a pleasure to see your work in person. Batman! Lady Arkham has a hostage. We've got the inmates. Lock it down! There's no way out now. There's always like another way here, Batman. All the people that Thomas Wayne condemned to this place unwillingly, they speak through the walls. Their ghosts walk. They know the way. I can't help those people now, but I can help Alfred Pennyworth. Take me to him. My pleasure. Okay. What, how, how can it freeze the entire fucking console? Yeah, it's fucking stupid. I always get freaked out because I, I think it's Vicky. not going to turn on or work. <laughs> You're not well, Vicky. You need professional help. <laughs> Says the man dressed as a bat. What happened to him? What's wrong? Let him go. The butler has to die. Payment for Thomas Wayne's sins. He took away my family, How the so fuck I'll is take away his sons. Ma not a mausoleum. If you really want to save the butler, catacombs underneath Bring Arkham. Me Bruce is Wayne. that an actual thing? If anyone yeah. can find him. It's you. He's probably cowering behind a 12 inch thick wall and a hundred bodyguards right now. I'll bring you Wayne, but first, let Alfred Pennyworth go. No, no, no. Afraid he's too useful to do that just yet. You're doing so much for one old man. Cam. Stop playing games. This isn't a game to me. You know, Batman, I really don't understand. Is he hurt? Why is he whole? He's like... Why are you fighting me? I've done great things for Gotham. Falcone and Hill deserved to die. If anything, I did you a favor. We're fighting the same fight, Batman. Can you see that? We want the same things! Those men deserve their day in court. Just like everyone else. So they could have gotten off like they did so many times before? No, Batman. They got exactly what they deserved. My justice is final and absolute. You shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be defending him. You think Bruce Wayne is any better than Spock? He hides behind his status and wealth. He's a coward, blaming other men. Where the fuck are their traps? <sighs> Why is he, how is he hurt? I'm curious, Batman. I know why I will. It's who I am. 
who I was always meant to be. What about you? Do you wear the mask to hide? Or to become who you really are? Are you the man? Or the mask? Batman is who I am. Who I need to be. To do what must be done. Oh, if that's totally what you believe, you're lying to yourself. You wear the mask so that you can't be held accountable. And once you're dead, I'm going to mount that mask on my wall. But first, I'll see the man beneath. Getting tired of this cat and mouse game. The fuck. Hold on, Alfred. You, you, you came. You came for me. Why wouldn't I? After what you said, huh? I knew you'd come. The man, the man I, I made you. Just hold on, sure, Alfred. Stop talking. Did you see where she went? She just dis disappeared. I'm getting you out of here. I think she injected Above it. you! <laughs> huh. Interesting how you speak to him. So familiar. Alfred? Such concern for someone you've never met before. It's called compassion, Vicky. Something you seem to know very little about. Sounds like deflection to me. There's more here than you're telling. It makes me wonder, do you really care? Only one way to find out. Oh. Batman, don't you... Shut up, old man! You've seen my true self. Your turn. Prove that you can. Take off your mask. Let me see the man you really are. If that's what it will take to save him. camera in there? This there must is, be there? some kind of trick. Bruce Wayne, he, he'd never be the man Batman is. He only looks out for himself. Oh, but of course. <laughs> now I understand. As Batman, you can prey upon the weak, the defenseless, just like your father did. A true Wayne. <laughs> There's nothing heroic about you. he did are unforgivable but i am trying to make up for his crimes i wear this mask to help people i'm not some naive socialite you can sweet talk i know a liar when i see one <laughs> i kind of don't want to take off my mask and redo it Little spikies, where are they? No more lies! No more talk! The only truth left is in your death!
over. Nothing will keep me from my revenge. I wonder if anybody else remo uh, removed their mask. As to last week's events at Arkham Asylum, a spokesperson for the GCPD assured us that the breakout has been contained and all inmates have been returned to their cells. That's a lie. Miss Vale is missing and presumed dead following a gruesome battle with the caped vigilante known vigilante. only as the Batman. Her death marks the end of Children of Arkham's Reign of Terror. <sighs> if the public knew the half of it... She's actually dead, right? It's better that they don't. She's not gonna come back? Any word from Miss Kyle? And I don't expect I'll be hearing from her anytime soon. With everything that's been going on, I... I haven't gotten a chance to thank you for what you did, sacrificing your identity for my safety. But uh, it was a dangerous thing to do. You could lose everything. The secrecy you've worked so hard to maintain, gone. Vicky took my secret to the grave. But you couldn't have known that would happen. No. But what's done is done. And your ear? At least there's something left of it. <laughs> Dr. Tompkins assured me it adds character. <laughs> I don't like it. <clears throat> that it does. Can't can I get a surgery? I don't like it. We will get through this, Bruce. Don't lose sight of the fact that you've done some real good for Gotham. You should be proud. 
I didn't take them down alone. I had help. You, Lucius, Gordon, Selina, and all those who gave their life fighting for Gotham. To those who helped, and those we lost. The damage done by the children of Arkham has left Gotham a city in turmoil. Faith in those at the top has perhaps irrevocably been shaken. Acting Commissioner James Gordon has promised to speak out about the issue tonight during an emergency citywide address. And I hope, despite the recent terror that's gripped our city, that Gotham's leading citizens will come out to show their support. Will his token appointment be enough to regain the city's trust? It remains to be seen. But experts agree that... Gordon requested Gotham's leaders to stand behind him. Leaders like you. Let Gotham see who Bruce Wayne truly is, and let them know what you plan to do for his future. Well, this could be a first start. For you, and for this city. Though, in Gotham, the only figure that can make as much impact as a Wayne... ...is Batman. You've helped this city tremendously, both as Bruce Wayne and Batman. And that person, whether he dons a cape or not, is someone I'm proud of and honored to call my friend. Thank you, Alfred. So, what do you intend to do about tonight? Well... Lucius has yet to invent a suit that'll let Bruce Wayne and Batman be in the same place at once. That is unfortunate. I suppose you must decide whose appearance will be more valuable. As Bruce, you can help repair the damage done to your name, get the public support so that you can change things from the top down. But Batman is a symbol of justice and strength. Maybe in these dark times, that is truly what Gotham needs the most. Perhaps one is truly the mask, and one is who you truly believe you are. Well, I don't know. Why the fuck do we have to choose? Let Gordon know Bruce Wayne will be there. You'll make quite the impression. Gordon will be grateful. Commissioner Gordon. He is here. Commissioner Gordon. That doesn't sound right. Don't worry. It will. Thank you for having me, Commissioner. What uh, happened to your ear? It looks painful. Cut myself shaving. <laughs> What'd you use, a chainsaw? Well, to be honest, I was surprised to get your call. Now, after that nasty business at your manor, I know Harvey was a good friend of yours. A loss like that, I wouldn't blame you for lying low. What you did is no secret. These people all saw there's more to Bruce Wayne than just the playboy. Public opinion is bound to swing around. Well, before long, you'll be Gotham's golden boy again. These people have no idea who Bruce Wayne really is. But that's about to change. Oh? Well, I look forward to knowing the real Bruce Wayne as well. I was half Gordon hoping Batman might Bruce? show up, too. And I wouldn't mind knowing he was keeping an eye on things here. Not to mention, <laughs> he makes one hell of an impression on people. So, does this mean you trust the Batman? Uh, to play by my rules? I no. I don't... But to fight I for think... this city? Hell yes. They're ready for you, Commissioner. 
Oh, sorry. And during baby. times like these, okay. it can feel impossible to hold on to hope. But I don't think so. But I have hope. Hope yeah, I don't that think... together we can rebuild what was lost. I mean, lost. It'd be, it probably would be now, good. In the last but... few weeks, I don't know. As much violence and terror as I've seen, he doesn't know I've also daughter, seen the is. citizens of this community band together to fight he those threats. And one of those people is Bruce Wayne. Oh. Thank you, Commissioner Gordon. Tough act to follow. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm here today to not only show my support for our then. acting commissioner, but also for this city. Many of you have suffered terrible losses. Some of those losses say, came at the hands of my own father, or at least as a result of his actions. <laughs> Excuse me. I loved my father, but nothing can excuse what he did. So today, I stand before you as my own man, heir not to the Wayne legacy, but to Gotham's. If my recent incident with Harvey Dent has shown me anything, it's that I can no longer sit on the sidelines. My family's wealth was built on the suffering of others. I think it's time to repay that debt. I plan to use my resources to improve the city and make the lives of its citizens better. And to that end... Which one? Stronger Gotham Police? Or better Arkham... A closer police? alliance between the GCPD and Wayne Enterprises will provide the police force with the support, with the training, and the equipment they need to make Gotham safer than it ever has been before. The GCPD will be the most technologically advanced police force in the country because the people of Gotham deserve to feel safe. Just minutes ago, Bruce Wayne delivered a rousing speech that turned into a I'm shocking Batman. assassination attempt on his life. He sure does clean up well. See you soon, Bruce. But Joker knows who Batman is, right? <laughs> he knows it is Bruce. Other people threw it. Why did they throw it? Oh, a lot of people removed their removed their cowl. Compassionate, seventy two percent compassionate. He's holding flowers. The crusade to defend Gotham is about helping people, being a beacon of hope in a dark world for oh, to use one's strength to lift people up instead of just beating villains down. Your Batman Bruce was compassionate, merciful, honest, and collaborative. Huh. That's cool that it it um Analyzes your choices and actions to uh, what you call it, your character. All right, another game beaten. 